you want to leave this place where we grew up? This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere. 82 Bankovo 6 Stoki G Novo <risos> Saiu so, ontem é, Estava chovendo muito Muito, 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 muito Tried to, I was gonna make a video yesterday I, I did attempt to make a video We did attempt to do a day out A hike And I was gonna vlog it But The rain Was just too much It was just too much It wasn't possible to go outside It was just Really heavy So OG OG we are going to leave Chapada, sadly, and we're going back to Brasilia, back to Tammy's family's house. But before we do that, we still have time because it's still early. It's just about 9am at the moment. So we're going to try and do a little hike somewhere in Chapada, Chapada, in Chapada. Um, we're going to check out some more places. Hopefully again, it doesn't rain. Please don't rain, please don't rain. Look, still very cloudy, but there is a little bit of blue sky out there. So maybe we'll be in luck today. Vamos ver. There's one thing to be careful about. Cuidado in, in this little town of Chapada. There's a lot of potholes. <laughs> a lot of potholes everywhere. So yeah, it started raining, as you can see. Um, obviously, coming in the wet season is not the best times to come. We, we're not the only ones here. <laughs> we're not the only ones that committed to this. But anyway, we've arrived here. Chapada dos Viedeiros National Park. Uh, it's in Vila Via San Jorge. It's just like, um, this area here has like loads of different hikes you can choose from. So we're just trying to decide what hike we're gonna do. We did wanna to go to one where there's canyons, and, but I think it's like a two hour round trip. And in this weather, you know, don't really feel like doing that. Um, so maybe we're gonna take a shorter one. We don't know yet, we're gonna see. We're just trying to check out the weather radar and see if, if this rain is gonna pass. It looks like it will, maybe for like a couple hours. So maybe there's gonna be a gap that we can get out. Um, as long as the rain's not too heavy, it won't be so bad, but who knows? We're just gonna wait for this rain, heavy rain to stop and then we'll, we'll make a decision to choose which trial we're gonna do. As you can see, here's a, it's a lot of cloud, but right here, there's a little gap. Now, this is obviously not 100% accurate, but it gives you an idea of how much cloud there is Quite a lot, quite a lot of rain. Unfortunately, it looks like it's gonna completely clear up at four o'clock, which is the time we're planning to leave, <laughs> which is typical. But yeah, as you can see, quite a lot of rain, but there is a little gap there, so we might try and go for it. It's around 11.30, so about 11. So yes, yeah, the current time is 10.30, so if we do a two hour hike around here, we may be able to get there, come back around two o'clock. Who knows? Let's see. So we just had a little introduction, a little briefing on the trials that take place that you can do here in this national park. And uh, they showed a little video as well. Some little tips, some bits of advice. So we've decided to do the Canyon Carioca. Um, I'm a little bit apprehensive because it's supposed to be a four hour, five, four to five hour hike, which is quite a long one. Um, and obviously the weather's not great. So it's gonna be an interesting afternoon for us. Always come prepared in Brazil, rain or shine. A lot of people think Brazil's all about sunglasses and beaches. Not always the case. You could be out in the tropics. It's a tropical country. It has tropical weather conditions, so it does rain. And sometimes it rains a lot. And that's exactly what's happening today. Especially because we come in the wet season to this national park. So expect no less if you're watching this video, thinking I thought Brazil was all about sunshine. Here's a lesson for you. It's not, it's about extreme weather conditions, but it's also about beautiful sceneries 
amazing adventures, rain or shine. There you go. That's for you guys, my non-Brazilians watching, who are watching this, wondering what I'm doing here in Brazil on this little hike. Even though it is wet and it is cloudy, I'm still loving this terrain here. It's amazing landscapes on this trail, all these different plants, these different rock formations. It's amazing. Completely different to anywhere I've been before in my life. I just love it. This must be <laughs> this must be the entrance point guys. This is it. I got scared for a minute when I seen that and it said 13 kilometers. I was like what? Well I think this is it guys. This is the official oh, no, 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 no. No? No. No? No, it's not there. Because we're gonna go canoe and cut it off Yeah, but it's here, no? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. Well all I know is that it can't be 13 kilometers away now. <laughs> it's close guys, we're almost there. Here it is guys, this is it. Well, almost, right? <laughs> 0 0.9 kilometers to the first canyon and then 0 0.6 to Carioca Canyon. Which one are we going to? So guys, you know how I love my, my drone shots in my videos. Because it's been raining, I've not been able to put the drone up, but I have it with me. It's stopped raining. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. So this is what I mean when I said that it was impossible not to get your feet wet when you're met with situations like this. So we've made it to the canyons, as you can see. It stopped raining. It looks amazing here. The scenes are incredible. And I was lucky enough to even be able to put my drone up. So let's take a look at it from above. Look at this, guys. 
How lucky are we? Estou muito feliz. Gratitude, is it? Gratidão? Gratidão? I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I am super grateful because just when we arrived at the canyon, the sun came out. As you can see behind me now, the sun is out, the blue skies have appeared. I just feel like we were lucky because you, you could see how much it was raining before. And obviously we arrived at like the canyons just after it was quite rain and heavy. And we was able to go there, chill in the sun a little bit, flew the drone, got to see some amazing shots. I think that's the cool thing about like having the drone is to be able to see these places from like an aerial point of view. Especially like now, because in the dry season, you can walk across all those canyons. There's barely any water, but now because it's raining so much, it's the wet season. It's full of water and obviously it's quite dangerous. You can't really walk across there. You can hop your way across, but it's very slippery. So yeah, super lucky to be able to see it like that. Be able to fly the drone, just stop raining just in time. It was beautiful, it looked amazing as you can see. I really can't believe this blue sky. It just like, we've been here for three days and we've barely seen any blue sky. We went out on the first day and it was mostly cloudy. Yesterday we tried to go out, but it rained so much that we just went back home. And now today, our last day, we thought it's our last day here. Let's just do a hike, rain or shine. And the sun has come out, so we're lucky, very lucky. Anyway, so now we are walking back. Obviously the trial took about two hours, roughly. I think just under two hours to get to the canyons. So we obviously stopped, took a few pictures on the way, filmed a little bit on the way, so that took a bit of time. But now we're gonna try and get back as quickly as possible because we need to drive back to Brasilia. Um, so that's about a three hour drive from here. Um, so we're hoping to get back in the car by four o'clock and then back to Brasilia around seven before it gets dark. Let's do this. Let's go. More walking. Hopefully no more rain. made it back home, back to the car. It's been a long one. So I just want to mention these little arrows here, which are super useful. They're marked white for the way back to the um, parking, to the car park. And the ones on the route are marked red and they're marked very frequently, which is really useful when you're on the trial because it just kind of helps you know that you're still on the right path. You're not going the wrong way because sometimes after walking for so long you kind of question am i going the right way so yeah this uh trial is very well marked and super easy to, to do to follow see this is it now the last stretch of the trial back home. We're going back home. My feet are going back home. Back into the RVM. Where it belongs. Oh, it's a very wet salt day. It's disgusting. I know. That's not sweat. Though. Your feet look like very white. Well, of course my feet are white. They're <laughs> exposed to the sun. Actually it's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Sila na old man, Tina. <laughs> old man. Aga, <laughs> nakikin as sad. Ah, ito po. Ito po. So, what better way to finish a trial with last night's leftover pizza? So, to summarize the trial, it was four and a half hours, I timed it, four and a half hours long. On Tommy's iWatch, we recorded 11 kilometers there and back. There wasn't many hills, so it's quite a flat trial. And overall, it was quite easy, to be honest. It wasn't like too tiring. Obviously, after four hours of walking, naturally a little bit tired. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow how I feel in terms of how much pain I'm going to get. But actually on the route, you don't feel like very exhausted because it is very flat. It just feels like quite an easy trial to do. So yeah, if you want to do that trial, it is in Chapada dos Viaderas National Park. Um, National Park, sorry, National Park. And it was, entry fee was 20 reais for a Brazilian. 40 reais if you're a foreigner. And there are several trials to do here. I'll put in the description down below the, the details of this trial. There is other trials to do as well. Um, so if you do come here, check them out and don't, hesitate when it rains obviously be careful if it rains because it can be dangerous but we came here and it's raining and now it's really nice weather there was a little bit of rain as you can see on the trial you know it didn't really bother us that it rained it was still very enjoyable that's it guys that is it for today we need to drive back to brasilia we got about a three and a half hour drive back to brasilia so we need to hit the road again um i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed the hike give a thumbs up <laughs> Tommy's choking on pizza <laughs> subscribe <laughs> to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video ciao